Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's James. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Throw left side complete. It's James. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. If the post pattern is often equated as a change-up route, how about when you throw it to your big guy down the center of the field? Covered or not, you have great confidence he's going to come down with the football. And when he does, as we just saw, long gains often result. Flushed out right. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Roethlisberger now off the bootleg. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. The give is to Bell. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Now Bell. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Ball on the three. Third down and goal. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Fourth down. Here's Roethlisberger. And it's caught. A great open field tackle is going to stop him shy of the goal line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Saints able to come up with a goal line stand. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And brought in here by Flaner. Twenty-six. A big play there on the catch and run. Seventy-two yards. Here we go. On first down, Breeze. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Ingram. A good gain of fourteen there, and it moves the chains. All the yards, completions, just another play that's a feather in the cap of the great career of Drew Brees. And wasn't he supposed to be too small to be an effective quarterback in yeah. the NFL? Yeah, how'd that work out? Yeah, well, his footwork, I think, really sets him apart. Remember, he was a junior tennis champion. Beat Andy Roddick, the future U.S. Open champion, back when they were in the juniors. I think that footwork really helps him be the great quarterback. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Mark Ingram. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Yeah. 
set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And the offense can string something together, but they'll need to do it quickly here to try to get points on the board and win this game. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Way beyond Bell. It's a foot race. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Le'Veon Bell, 69 yards, and the Steelers are going to take the lead. Eight. Boswell on now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They begin on the ground with Camara. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it'll be first down here after the run. Coleman, the man in motion left. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo again. And he's got it over the middle. Flaner. 20. 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Kobe Flaner, 58 yards. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Now Roethlisberger. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Ken Crawley. And Take this one home. It's a touchdown. In a tie game, fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time 
gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. So second and ten here. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Kenny McCarl. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. They have the lead, still a one-possession game, but the defense got the stop. They've got the football now, just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now, starting to take their tape off, and, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. Coleman, the man in motion left. Now Breeze. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. Goes underneath for Bell. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. 23 yards on the play. Bell is so good at that. He just catches so many passes near the line of scrimmage. In fact, the unique stat line for him last year, he had more yards after the catch than total receiving yards from the line of scrimmage on the season. That doesn't even sound real, but when you analyze his game, you understand why a stat like that can occur. His ability to catch the ball, be elusive, and also strong enough to break tackles, that allows him to gain all that extra yardage. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. This is Bell on the dump off. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. To throw again is Roethlisberger. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And nothing but daylight ahead. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed.